Hey guys, so today I'm gonna teach you how I made this Jinx bomb from Arcane and this is the project breakdown of how I did it. So Arcane is a TV series made by Riot Games based on the hit game League of Legends and the studio behind the animation is Fortiche, this French company. And I myself have never played the game but the TV show is really really good. So if you haven't watched it already, I highly recommend it. And there's a scene with a couple of bombs in the show and I wanted to try and replicate the same bomb in Blender. So I found some 4K upscaled stills from the Arcane show. It was on their subreddit. And when you zoom into these pictures, you can see the painted look on each and every one of these shots. I think one of the key aspects when trying to achieve this look is how well you are able to paint on the texture map and on the model itself because that plays a huge part. So the first thing I did was to take a couple of screenshots to understand the basic shapes that makes up the bomb and the general color palette and how they have textured it and then roughly started modeling it out and this is not an exact replica of what is in the show so I took some creative liberties and then made it similar to what it looked like in that scene. I will leave some links in the description if you want to learn how to model things like this by yourself. There's a lot of good tutorials on how to learn the basics of modeling and after you nail that down, this is very easy to do. However, I will include a version of the model inside the project file which you can download for free. So you can skip these steps and then follow along with the rest of the stages if you like. So after modeling the bomb, I moved on to unwrapping the model. So one thing you have to keep in mind is to not stretch out the UV islands. This is to make sure that when you move into the texturing phase, nothing gets distorted and everything is very easy to paint on. Again, I will leave some tutorials in the description which you can follow to learn the fundamentals of unwrapping. And you can practice on the model that is given in the project files. First, a quick word from our sponsor. So a huge thanks to Sketchfab for sponsoring this video. Sketchfab is a super cool site with a huge library of 3D models and assets accessible for everyone. And not just that, it allows you to upload, buy and sell all kinds of 3D assets easily. So don't forget to check out our sponsor Sketchfab for all your 3D model needs with our link down in the description. Back to the breakdown. So after you have all the parts in the model unwrapped, you should have something that looks very neat with none of the UVs stretching out. When it comes to the texture painting, I applied a base layer of color first for each part after looking at the references I had gathered. Then I painted some thin lines over the edges. Make sure to adjust the size and the strength of your brush as well so you can get a nice line over the edges. Most of the edges seem to look like it's worn out and usually when the base layer of a paint chips out, the color underneath is a bit brighter and shinier. So following this basic base layer, secondary layer, edge painting technique, I added more and more detail until it looked like the reference that I had earlier. And even her graffiti monkey art which she used as her calling card in the show. One thing to note here is that if you have a drawing tablet, this process is going to be a lot easier. You can still do it with a mouse, but it might take a while to get it done. I will also leave some links in the description if you want to learn about texturing in depth. I wanted to give the bomb a little bit more detail on the surface, like generated rust or scratches. However, the assets used in the TV show don't seem to be having any. It looks like all of them were hand painted details which makes every frame of this show picture perfect. Since it was going to take me a long time to add all the little details, I thought of adding a grunge map to our texture. In this next step, I'll show you how I did this. To do this, I headed over to the shading tab. I selected the model to get the main material and added a noise texture node and a map range node connected the factor to value 
and resolve to roughness and then dial the numbers to get the rustic look. Finally, I added a normal texture to give it more detail. You can do this by adding an image texture, selecting your normal map after creating one, put it to cubic, now add a bump node, click invert, connect color to height and normal to normal. This way I was able to get more details on the surface even though it was a low poly model. So finally I added some cameras, animated the loose parts and the materials to change the eye color and rendered it. I will include the project files for free down in the description. Make sure you download it, go through it and you might learn something new. That's been it for me. See you guys in the next one. Here's a huge thank you to all our Patreons, thank you so much for supporting us, if you too can support us please go ahead and do that, we really appreciate that. Head over to our Discord if you want to hang around with like-minded creatives, feel free to leave some suggestions and stuff. Peace!